All right, Blazers. What up, Blazers? The fuck is here? What up, Blazers? Go back to Russia! Cowards! I spent an entire week in a Soviet hospital, and I have footage of this. You guys might need to see this, because this is some HBO Chernobyl level stuff. Hello Blazers, no fuck is that, how guys doing today, welcome to a brand new video, and yes guys, finally I'm back to uploading videos, and the thing is, why I was gone for so long is because I got really sick. If you guys have the look, basically, I went to Europe recently for the first time ever in my entire life, and I actually already uploaded videos from Vienna and from Berlin, you should check it out if you haven't seen them. And I have more European vlogs coming by the way. But yeah, as I was saying, I had this grand trip around Europe. Then I basically yeeted all the way back to Russia, to St. Petersburg, spent some time there, I love that city. And also I went to Moscow to see one of my favorite bands, which is Death Grips. It was all a very fun time, it was great, except for the fact that I got really, really sick as soon as I returned back to Russia. I just had a really bad fever for like a week, and uh, you know, since I was really traveling, I was not home, I couldn't actually take proper medicine. And I've been sick for about 8 or 9 days, it actually came time to return back to my beautiful city of Chelyabinsk here in Russia. And I came back and my mom was like you better take your ass to the doctor because having the fever for like nine days in a row now It's not normal and basically what happened next is like the worst thing that could have happened to me because I went to the docs And they said that I have pneumonia and I need to check into the hospital right now Or I'm going to die and you guys gotta understand my position right now You know I haven't even been properly uploading for a whole month or so and now they also want to take my ass to the hospital Why could spend like up upwards to a month Laying there just doing nothing and I'm gonna be producing no content whatsoever. This is a nightmare, okay? But you know, after all, health is more important than all of this YouTube stuff. So I decided to check in the hospital and guys, this video is my Russian Soviet hospital experience. <laughs> you know, but the bra moments just started piling in as soon as I went to the hospital, guys, honestly. Because, uh, you know, the first thing I, that happens when I went to the hospital to actually check in, one of the guys in the line, to the doctors as well, was like an alcoholic who was actually like in a deep state of delirium he was screaming like crazy and uh, trying to fight people and I was like what did I get myself into? <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing about it now, but it was straight up terrifying. I'm sorry, okay? But you know, whatever they said, yeah, you, you know, you have pneumonia, you're gonna be in uh, Ward 101. And, you know, that's where I went. And uh, and I have footage of my words and some other stuff, guys. And I think uh, I'm gonna show it on the screen right now. I think it's gonna be very, very interesting for you guys to see. Because obviously, the majority of my views are like from America, Europe and stuff like that. I, I think your guys' hospitals look a lot different. <laughs> you know, guys, I think it is needless to say that my ward in my hospital is not uh, the best looking world in, ward in the world. Obviously this is like in the middle of Russia, uh, maybe in Moscow, whatever, they have hospitals that look a little bit better than this, but uh, this hospital that I was in uh, was not in the most epic condition, but honestly guys, uh, it could be worse, because a lot of the times in Russian hospitals there are such bra moments that uh, there's not even any places for people in the woods, so they literally just uh, put a bunk bed in like the corridor of the hospital, and the person just lays there in the corridor, everybody's just walking by, that's just, just, that's what happens. Because sometimes there's not enough places in the hospital, straight up. So yeah, the ward that I was in, um, basically the hospital I was in, it was, uh, it was a part of the hospital that uh, housed uh, patients with infectious diseases, and most of the people that were with me in the ward actually suffered from uh, Lyme disease, and actually were bit by ticks. Uh, so that's kind of the environment I was in, and it was actually pretty, pretty bad, honestly, because basically Basically, technically, you were not allowed to uh, walk out out of the hospital at all because technically like an uh, infected <laughs> zombie or something in here. And if a relative comes over you and brings you maybe some food and stuff like that, you can only take it from the window, okay? But in actuality, the thing is that nobody cares because, for example, there was this one guy who was also suffering from pneumonia in my wards. This guy has been laying there with pneumonia for two months, okay, when I checked in. For two months already. And you know what he's doing? He's literally just walking out from the hospital for like three hours during a day. I think this guy like unironically actually had a job while also being in the hospital. I mean guys, just Russians, Russians are insane, honestly. Alright, look, let's just speak about this guy for a second, okay? Like, as soon as I walked into the world, bruh, 
I looked at this dude, I'm like, th this guy, I'm sorry, like, he straight up looked like an Auschwitz uh, prisoner. Like, there, there's no other way to describe him. The guy is skinny, he's like, he's looking frail, he's looking, he's looking absolutely destroyed by the disease. Like, I'm, I'm walking in here, and I'm like, dude, is this what is going to happen to me? And also, the first thing that this guy was doing when I walked into the hospital was that he was, uh, uh, peeling potatoes and onions inside the ward. And he was apparently trying to make himself lunch. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know what is going on in these Russian hospitals. But the most baffling thing I honestly found about this guy is that, uh, you know, he had pneumonia. He's been in this hospital with pneumonia for two months now. He's coughing. He's straight, when he coughed, he straight up sounded like Smoker from Left 4 Dead, okay, guys? It's horrible. Like, my pneumonia is bullshit. His pneumonia is bad. You gotta understand that, right? And what baffled me is that this guy smoked like eight cigarettes per day. Okay, he walked into the bathroom in our wards. And by the way, guys, yes, I also have the footage of the bathroom. This one is this footage is probably gonna shock you guys because this is straight up some HBO Chernobyl documentary shit. Okay, I mean, just look at this, right? Like the it d doesn't look too good, right? And I'm not I'm not trying to complain right now once again because first of all, healthcare in Russia is pretty underfunded and uh, it's not the best healthcare in the world, but at least it's free. You know, I spent a week in the hospital and it didn't cost me a single penny. And they've given me a lot of drugs, they've given me a lot of treatments, and it didn't cost me absolutely anything. So yeah, I'm not going to complain right now and say that this bathroom you're looking at right now was like, it's like completely terrible, you know, it's not usable, whatever. No, it's, I mean, you can get by. And especially, you know, I'm a Russian. Seeing this is nothing, is nothing new to me, you know, I've been around, I've seen what Russian hospitals look like, I've been to Russian hospitals before, so seeing something like this is not shocking to me, but probably to you guys from America, Europe and stuff like that right now, this is like straight out of, uh, straight out of HBO Chernobyl, like Chernobyl abandoned hospitals. I don't know, bro, like, <laughs> and also they had this, they also had this door inside the bathroom which you could open and it kind of leads nowhere. Uh, which kind of weirded me out. Uh, it was always people always open it because uh, once again I was saying this dude that was there with pneumonia for like two months He was smoking like eight cigarettes per day and he was going there in the bathroom s to smoke as soon as he starts smoking Dude, he starts coughing like it sounds like he's coughing blood. He sounds like the smoker from left for dead and I'm like dude why would you do this to yourself, okay? You're literally with pneumonia in the hospital for two months and you're smoking cigarettes. It's like having diabetes and eating sweets. Like, I, I don't get it. What's the logic, dude? Can you, like, wait a month and not smoke and maybe then you could smoke again? Come on. I'm not even trying to be judgmental. Like, I smoke sometimes, right? But, like, I wouldn't smoke while I'm in the hospital with pneumonia. This is ridiculous. So yeah, because this guy and another guy from my wards uh, basically went to smoke in the bathroom all the time. The bathroom just smelled like shit all the time. You know, especially having pneumonia, it's not really nice when you walk into the bathroom and it smells like cigarettes and you can barely breathe. But I mean, what can you do? Uh, you know? <laughs> it's Russia, guys. So yeah, the hospital itself, uh, the hospital personnel was actually pretty nice. Uh, some of them, some of them were pretty rude, honestly. Uh, you know, it really depends on the, on the doctor. Some doctors in this hospital were actually really nice, actually really attentive. They really paid attention to what you have to say, really given a lot of uh, great advice. Uh, however, some doctors were pretty annoyed all the time, angry all the time. And you know, with those kind of doctors, you can't really talk. You're always kind of like, oh, you know, you're one of those angry Russian doctors I got it but yeah overall most of the doctors were actually pretty attentive and pretty nice people and I like that um, once again the hospital um, is sort of a because this is like an it's like an infectious part of the hospital whatever I don't know what how to even say this but basically we didn't have fridges in every single ward so we only had one fridge in the uh, corridor of the building so you can actually have your own food because hospital food in Russia is kind of whack I mean it's okay you can can eat it but you know I'd rather prefer to eat what my mom brings me obviously you know and if I have that opportunity why would I eat what they give me at the hospital right I mean that, may, it's, it's, that only makes sense but yeah what basically they did to me there is that they gave me a lot of pills I also used a inhaler three times per day and I used to inhale some kind of mixture and also they would uh, give me shots in my veins every every morning and every evening so two times per day and it actually is pretty terrible because uh, at one point your veins 
look like you're a heroin addict, okay? And there's not a single, there's not a single place on your hands that, that hadn't had a needle in it, okay? Like, straight up right now, my arms do not have a single untouched mark on them. Like, they've given me a ton of shots, uh, you know? When you get a ton of shots every single day, sometimes your veins, they can't even handle it, and they kind of pop inside. It's pretty painful, and honestly, you kind of start dreading every time they're about to give you a new shot of drugs, a new injection, so, you know, it's not the nicest stuff but you know you have to just bear with it and get through it because you know we understand that uh, you know you want to get healed you want to get out of there so you gotta you know you man up and take the take the injection because there's nothing really else that you can do but yeah other than uh, you know this guy smoking with pneumonia there's been a couple of other bra moments uh, when I was in the hospital for example that uh, this is actually not even funny I mean it was funny for a second but actually think about it, it's kind of sad you know once again I've said that a lot of people in my ward actually had uh, Lyme disease and they uh, were bit by a tick in like a forest or something while going fishing or barbecuing or something like that and uh, the thing is that when you get bit by a tick apparently it really messes you up like I, and I, I've never seen this firsthand but since now I've been in the hospital for a week and I've, I've actually seen what happens to people that have been bit by a tick. There was the one guy whose entire body was like shaking. Also one guy couldn't like even think properly or talk properly. And uh, you know, according to his description, his vision was like doubled. So he couldn't actually see properly because uh, he was kind of like, he was looking at everything like his cross eyes. And I can only imagine how terrible that feels. So one bra moment was that we had this guy in our ones who uh, was perfectly fine. He was actually bit by a tick as well. He was perfectly fine for like three days. And in the fourth day, he just woke up and he just couldn't speak, period. You could try and say something to him, he would just look at you and he couldn't respond. And uh, what happened next is that apparently they decided that they need to remove him from the normal ward, actually to the emergency ward. And the emergency ward, according to the people that were in my ward, is pretty messed up because they take away your phone, they take away everything, you can't even use your phone. You literally gotta just lay there for the entire day long and rot and not do nothing. Like at least I was in the hospital, at least I had my phone, I could just be on the internet, you know. Uh, so I was not too bored. I can't even imagine, like I'd go crazy. This, this week would have felt like three months if I hadn't had internet. So they decided to transfer this guy into the emergency ward and he actually started being very, very belligerent. He actually started trying to fight the doctors. He was saying stuff like, I'm not sick, let me go home. I'm just gonna go home right now, you know? And actually they had to call in his wife to come in and calm him down because uh, otherwise he wouldn't agree to go to the emergency wards, so I was just like, damn man, you know, it's really messed up how this little ass insect bitch could mess up your mind this much, whereas, you know, you're a grown man and you're acting like this. He's, he's a perfectly fine guy, you know, he was a perfectly fine guy for like three days that I knew him, right? And then he just goes insane because of this goddamn insect. Ticks need to be cancelled, straight up dude, fucking hell, I've just seen, just looking at these people that got bit by ticks, like, it, it makes me never ever want to go to a forest ever again in my entire life. But yeah guys, in all honesty, I would rate the experience as not too terrible, the only thing that kind of annoyed me is the bunk beds. The beds in Russian hospitals are notorious for being pretty trash and it's true, it stays true. Uh, the beds are garbage, <laughs> not very comfortable and uh, not enough length for a 6 foot 4 alpha gamer like myself but you know you can't really ask for everything and obviously when you have free healthcare yes uh, they have free healthcare in other countries and it's actually good there but you know beggars can be choosers <laughs> so yeah you know overall kind of a bra moments you know really was not in my schedule to come back home and instead of start making videos and making content for you guys because I actually have a lot of video ideas and I still need to upload vlogs from Europe instead of that I spent an entire week just laying on my ass and doing nothing in a hospital was not really in my plans, but I guess, you know, health is important and I had to do it. So uh, I just want to say uh, thanks to everybody who, uh, you know, stick with me. I know I have really been slacking on the uploads because of all the traveling and because of obviously the sickness that I had to endure. But uh, if you're watching this video, thank you for still being there. And especially I want to say thank you to my Patreon supporters who have been supporting me throughout all this time because obviously since I haven't uploaded in a month properly, uh, you know, my YouTube earnings are completely poo-poo. So uh, actually, Patreon donations 
donations and stuff really helped me out a lot this month so thank you guys so much for you know the support you kept giving me even though I was slacking on the uploads due to the you know factors that happen in my life however I really do appreciate it you know and yeah guys um, I guess that is going to be pretty much it for today's video I'm gonna take it easy for my health I'm going to uh, try have a sort of a constant upload schedule from now once that I'm home. And yeah, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please make sure to slap the motherfucking like button. I also make sure to go down in my description, check out my Patreon, and have a Patreon Discord. It would be very, very epic if you joined and if you supported me. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.